Welcome everyone to today's webinar, Reimagining Healthcare Logistics. Common Spirit Health and Opti Freight Logistics Challenge the Status Quo. I'm Emma Goodman with Becker's Healthcare. Thank you for joining us today. Before we begin, I'm going to walk through a few quick housekeeping instructions. We will begin today's webinar with a presentation and we will have time at the end of the hour for a question and answer session. You can submit any questions you have throughout the webinar by typing them into the Q&A box you see on your screen. Today's session is being recorded and will be available after the event. You can use the same link you use to log into today's webinar to access that recording. If at any time you don't see your slides moving or have trouble with the audio, try refreshing your browser. You can also submit any technical questions into the Q&A box and we are here to help. With that, I am pleased to welcome our two terrific speakers today. Emily Gallo is the Senior Vice President and General Manager of OptiFreight Logistics. Emily is leading OptiFreight Logistics through a business transformation focused on building automated technology-driven solutions that innovate the way healthcare supply chain leaders manage transportation logistics and control shipping spend. She has been with Cardinal Health for seven years where she has held a variety of roles in marketing and strategy. She is co-chair of Cardinal Health's Proud Employee Resource Group for LGBTQ plus employees and allies and served on the company's Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Council. Prior to joining Cardinal Health, Ms. Gallo spent time at Abbott Nutrition, Merck and & Company and Boston Biomedical Consultants. She holds a bachelor's degree in physics from Bowdoin College and a master's degree in business administration from the Wharton School, University of Pennsylvania. Dr. John Waller is the system director for supply chain distribution at Common Spirit Health, one of America's largest health systems. He oversees the distribution of medical equipment and products throughout the acute and non-acute locations across the United States and is also responsible for developing and managing the international distribution channel from Malaysia and China. Prior to joining Common Spirit Health, Dr. Waller had roles of increasing leadership at PepsiCo and UPS. Dr. Waller graduated cum laude from Regis University with a bachelor's degree in business with an emphasis in finance and marketing. He received his MBA from Colorado Technical University, where he also earned a doctorate in management with a dissertation on innovation management. Thank you so much, Emily and Dr. Waller, for being here today. Emily, would you like to get us started? Yes, it is great to be here. And let me just start by saying hello and thank you for joining us today. Let me walk through what we will be covering. To start, we're going to talk about why we believe it's a must to customize logistic service offerings based on the unique needs of our customers. To get there, healthcare providers need a team of committed experts at their side. And we'll talk about the value of ongoing support of that team that's in it with you, bringing relevant expertise and diverse perspectives. And I'm sure Dr. Waller will agree, it is a game changer. Next, we'll talk about innovation and insights. That helps increase savings, benchmark performance against peers, and constantly unearth opportunities to improve. When you combine the right data and analytics with a team of committed experts, you really are advancing total healthcare logistics. And in a minute, we're gonna hear how Common Spirit Health is doing just that. Lastly, we're gonna look into the future of healthcare logistics. Here at OptiFreight, we're investing in a business transformation that's gonna help customers advance and achieve even greater success across the nation. It is my true pleasure to welcome Dr. Waller from Common Spirit Health today to talk about how he and his team are advancing total healthcare logistics. Welcome, Dr. Waller. Thank you, and hello, everyone. I'm excited to be here as well. Wonderful. Well, to start, Dr. Waller, could you share more about Common Spirit Health? would love to. Common Spirit Health is one of the largest nonprofit healthcare systems we have. We're located in 21 states. We have over a thousand um, sites of care and 140 hospitals. That would include 150,000 dedicated healthcare professionals, including 25,000 physicians and 40,000 great nurses. 
because of our sheer size and our growing healthcare system that spans across the nation, it comes in no surprise that our, our logistic needs are complex and they're growing as well. Each region having its own unique challenges and their own unique goals. And what are some of the challenges that you're currently facing? First, as I, saw, as I talked about, our sheer size. In 2019, we brought two very successful healthcare systems together to form Common Spirit Health. Both have different cultures as well as different logistical challenges. With more than a thousand sites that we had spoke of, we have two logistical common goals that we have to work on, improving process standardization and cost savings. Now, those are our system-wide goals, but we need to tailor a system-wide solution to help individual regions. For example, in one region, we may work more on standardization. In the other region, we may have more cost-saving initiatives. Most of all, whatever we do, our aim is to make sure that we advance healthcare logistics without negatively impacting patient care. While we evolve our logistical processes to improve efficiency and savings, we ensure that every chain supports our quality patient care as well. It's true, we're hearing those same challenges bubble up across the healthcare industry. Save money, do more, more effectively, and make sure that we're supporting quality patient care. That puts a lot of pressure on healthcare providers. And at OptiFreight Logistics, we think about the role that healthcare logistics can play in addressing those challenges. In fact, I actually have a video here that I'd like to share that explains some of the dynamics in the industry and how OptiFreight Logistics is transforming to best support the healthcare providers to address and meet those exact challenge needs. Would you mind if I shared the video, Dr. Waller? Not at all, love to see it as well. Great. The world of healthcare logistics is moving fast. The race is on and the pressure to advance, to save time and money while keeping up with your inbound, outbound and around town shipping demands has never been greater. To stay ahead, hospitals, physician offices, pharmacies, laboratories, surgery centers and other healthcare providers must move beyond old answers to these increasingly complex problems. Rethinking, reimagining, and redesigning their approach so they can improve efficiency, optimize spend, and respond to changing conditions in real time. But doing so requires total control. It requires the right tools that remove complexity and give you the visibility and insight you need to make data-driven decisions. It requires seeing the big picture, taking a holistic approach to logistics management and driving toward the solution with conviction and commitment. At OptiFreight Logistics, we understand that the demands you face are constantly shifting and the stakes are high. Patients, physicians, caregivers, even your own employees, they all rely on you to ensure the right product arrives at the right place at the right time at the best cost. That's why we've moved beyond old answers. And we're here to help you adapt to today's environment while preparing you for what's ahead with tailored solutions, committed experts, and continuous innovation and insights, all with the goal of advancing your total healthcare logistics. OptiFreight Logistics provides tailored solutions for inbound, outbound, and around town shipping, including same-day solutions, mail consolidation, regional parcel carrier, large freight, and international. Healthcare logistics may be moving fast, but you can be faster with OptiFreight Logistics. I don't know about you, Dr. Waller, but the opportunity to rethink, reimagine, and redesign healthcare logistics is so invigorating to me. I think we're on the brink of great things and I'm excited to be able to work alongside healthcare providers like Common Spirit to truly advance total healthcare logistics. Emily, I agree. That is a great video. It really gets to the heart of the challenges healthcare providers are facing today. As I mentioned uh, earlier, that we have two logistic goals and once again, improving process standardization and cost savings. Even though we're large, we've been able to collaborate with OptiFreight Logistics to develop a system-wide strategic plan to help us meet these goals. Can you talk a little more about that plan? 
would love to, would love to. Our first goal is reduce inbound overnight shipping spend. To accomplish this, Optifreight Freight Logistics is helping us to identify the top 10 suppliers who rely on overnight service in each market. Then we'll work with them to determine how many overnight shipments can be converted to ground service. Next, we're reducing outbound overnight shipping spend. We're identifying our top 10 outbound shippers who rely on overnight service in each market. Then we'll provide mode optimization training to convert as many shipments to ground service as possible. Third, we're converting our top five unmanaged suppliers to our program. We're working with Optifreight to develop an action plan to get these suppliers on board to lower their shipping costs. This is just a starting point. Once the first five are converted, we'll then move on to the next group of unmanaged suppliers to ensure we're maximizing the value of the Optifreight program. Lastly, we're working, to, we're working to convert more outbound shippers to our program. It is statistically proven at Common Spirit Health that shipping packages through Optifreight Logistics customer website has increased our savings. So we're driving internal adoptions of this best practice by identifying who needs access to the Optifreight customer website and providing training as needed. These might seem simple goals, but they are truly driving the most savings. And again, this is just a start. The Optifreight team continues to help us uncover opportunities for continued savings and efficiencies. Overall, our goal is to reduce the logistics cost by $1.5 million through these efforts. And I'm happy to report as of today, we're well over halfway to our goal. That's great, Dr. Waller. And we're working together to achieve those. We're approaching this in three ways. First, we create tailored solutions that fit each of our customers. Rather than providing off-the-shelf solutions or out-of-the-box software that may be difficult to customize, we start by understanding exactly what you need, then build our solution around it. Second, we provide a team of committed experts, you've heard me talk about them earlier, who are in it with you and help your healthcare logistics perform at its highest level. It takes relevant expertise, diverse perspectives, and most of all, the passion to be more than a logistics provider. We are your logistics advocate. No technology alone can take the place of a committed expert. Third, we constantly drive new innovation and insights to move your healthcare logistics forward. This is about continually evolving, finding new advantages and staying in control, no matter what lies ahead in healthcare. Dr. Waller, could you share more about each of these areas and how it's working today to help Common Spirit Health achieve its success? Absolutely. Tailoring solutions for our, our specific needs at Common Spirit is very important. And I'd like to share a few of the examples that we had talked about. First, Optifreight customized a shipping solution to help expedite COVID test shipments to our core lab. This involved tracking tens of thousands of shipments to ensure on-time delivery to protect the test integrity, all while effectively managing cost. The key to success is Optifreight maintains a close relationship with the carriers. If we have a concern, if we have an issue, we don't rely on the 1-800 number. Optifreight works directly with key stakeholders at the carrier to ensure on-time delivery, despite the global supply chain disruptions. And the on-time delivery is critical to the core lab to deliver COVID test results quickly. The second example is tailoring solutions to help us reduce our unmanaged inbound freight spend. OptiFreight Data Analytics helps us to start the conversation with our suppliers to convert shipments to our program through training and implementing best practices, like adding shipping instructions to our POs. We're converting more unmanaged spend to our program. And my third example is helping us convert our outbound shipping from overnight to ground. Mode optimization is key. Through OptiFreight and analytics, we're able to pinpoint where a site of care is using our shipping website and following the shipping advice it provides. With this data in hand, we can train that site to better use OptiFreight mode optimization tools 
to save money without negatively impacting patient care. This also helps us standardize the processes. For example, if there's a particular site is still using paper air bills instead of our shipping website, we can demonstrate to them the value of managing shipping online. That's great to hear, Dr. Waller. As I said earlier, we don't believe in off-the-shelf answers at OptiFreight either. Every healthcare provider's needs are unique, so we customize our comprehensive set of integrated tools and data for each customer. Then we're committed to constant improvement. You can't just set it and forget it, you gotta keep looking and pushing. So we leverage our data and analytics and deep bench of, of experts to find new and better ways to improve efficiency and lower costs. Our goal is to continually make total healthcare logistics easier, clearer, smarter, and stronger. The foundation of those efforts is our team of committed experts. Dr. Waller, I know you work with our team often. Could you share more about what it's like? Yes. I truly value Data Analytics as an important tool to gain greater insight, visibility, track spin, and help me make more informed business decisions. I don't have the time or the resources to sift through all of that myself to help guide our success. For that, I need a team of logistics experts at my side. And that's exactly what else that's provided with me at OptiFreight Logistics. When OptiFreight talks about tailored solutions, committed experts, innovation and insight, those are not just words, they truly live it. The OptiFreight team is engaged in the individual facility all the way up to the corporate supply chain, ensuring alignment throughout the system. It's truly a culture of collaboration. They're all insightful, they work closely to create the best solutions, and we're successful because of our relationship. No other company can provide me with a team such as this. I like how you said culture of collaboration. I think that is what it's all about. And with Common Spirit's experience, it really true, it reinforces the value of having a committed team of experts bringing it all together and tailoring solutions based on what your needs are. We know there are fully automated set it and forget it programs out there to assist healthcare providers in managing logistics. While these solutions help you access the data, we believe a team of experts at your side, an extension of your team that helps you interpret the data, uncover ongoing value opportunities, and then importantly, support the work to bring that value to bear is the bottom line in the way we provide value. That's not something that software programs alone can do. At OptiFreight Logistics, our people make the difference. And that's why we're constantly investing in top talent to bring in diverse perspectives and expertise. It's all about understanding who our customers are and what they need and where they wanna go. That's what it means to be a true logistics advocate. But as we've been discussing, technology does have an important role in total healthcare logistics management. Dr. Waller, how do you use technology and data analytics at Common Spirit to bring you critical insights to drive that continuous improvement? First, it's important to understand you don't know what you don't know. Technology and data analytics are valuable resources to help us objectively reveal and pursue opportunities to improve efficiency and cost. To help us better understand the current state of our logistics and overcome every challenge, we leverage the data analytics and expertise of OptiFreight Logistics. For example, we require a partner that helps us monitor our overall logistics spend. It has been increasing for a couple of reasons. Our healthcare system is growing. We recently opened a core lab, which has significantly increased the number of shipments from sites across our system. We're shipping more volume through the logistics management program overall as we reduce our overall unmanaged spend. Secondly, we need help in reducing unmanaged spend. This is critical and our analysis shows that we save an average of 44.5% per pack when shipped through the OptiFreight logistics program. Finally, we're constantly looking at ways to reduce our overall cost per pack. We've seen a rise in this as a result of increased shipping rates. Also, we've determined through data analytics that our significant use 
of overnight shipping is contributing to our higher cost per pack. Without data analytics and the insight provided by OptiFreight Logistics team that supports us, we couldn't recognize this opportunity to lower costs in our overall cost per pack. We continue to work with OptiFreight Logistics to establish a model average cost per pack benchmark, which is regularly measured against regional performance. We're able to easily identify if a region has an opportunity to improve their cost per pack to the model average, or even better, challenge themselves to hit the model best cost per pack. With that data in mind, we can then work with OptiFreight to change shipping behavior in the regions to lower costs, such as train them to rely less on overnight service unless it's necessary to support patient care. Thank you, Dr. Waller. That's a perfect example of the value of data analytics, combined with the support of committed experts to improve total logistics management. That's key to staying in control, no matter what lies ahead in healthcare. It's about preparing now for constant change, bringing deeper insights via data analytics, and then identifying new ways to lower spend and increase efficiency. As you said, Dr. Waller, this approach requires far more resources than any software program could provide on its own. It requires the right technology plus a dedicated team of experts working on your behalf to find new advantages every day. And that combination is what we provide at OptiFreight Logistics. A good example of the right technology is TotalView. Let's take a closer look. TotalView is a technology solution that provides comprehensive data analytics, giving our customers greater visibility of their shipping spend so they can take greater control and find actionable opportunities for savings. This Tableau-based platform is self-serve, though our team of committed experts can also help customers explore the insights and dashboards. It's easy to use and empowers customers to maximize discounts and manage more of their total logistics spend within the program, find new efficiencies and savings in logistics management, gain new predictive insights to help plan their business needs, track their progress compared to similar providers, benchmarking performance and identifying cost reduction insights. Lastly, get customized reports on demand so they can more easily monitor performance and pinpoint opportunities for improvement. To total view is positioned to help customers understand why they spend more or less on logistics, revealing the impact of individual factors such as shipping method and shipping volume. But total view is just one aspect of our comprehensive approach to total logistics management. Our approach is a centralized system that is tailored to continually optimize logistics, efficiency, and spend inside, outside, and around the health system. When health systems fully adopt our approach, they have a single comprehensive si system for managing inbound, outbound, multi-carrier, and same-day logistics needs. To tailor solutions and continually align with a health system's needs, we provide dedicated resources that act as an extension of the supply chain management department. These resources focus on everything from strategy to proactively identifying projects that will contribute to savings, daily operation efficiency and transaction support for the program. Working together, we help provide greater control of transportation expenses, data and analytics, sustainability, and overall logistics success. Dr. Waller, what are your views on the value of total logistics management? A common spirit. Creating a culture of total, total logistics management is where we're looking at getting everyone on board, understanding their role, and improving efficiency and cost savings. Working with OptiFreight Logistics, we plan to leverage their total logistics management approach to create a single comprehensive system for managing our inbound, outbound, and multi-carrier same-day logistics needs. You can't control what you can't see, but through the lens of total logistics management, we'll be able to gain a holistic, system-wide view of our spend. So we'll be able to identify and convert more unmanaged suppliers to the program, 
we'll be able to identify and train more outbound shippers who aren't using our program to take advantage of it. This is about changing the inbound and outbound shipping behavior. It starts with Dana at Linux and seeing the value in compliance and ultimately embracing the total logistics mindset to ultimately, ultimately benefit patient care. As total logistics management becomes part of our culture, we're working toward an ultimate goal, evaluating the purpose of logistics to have an acknowledged strategic role in supporting quality, cost-effective patient care. In other industries, such as consumer packaged goods, logistics already has the strategic role. I know firsthand. Because of my past experience, I was in consumer packaged goods industry. Common Spirit brought me here to apply those same principles to healthcare. We're doing that in several ways. First, we're managing our overall mindset to make logistics a core competency, not just an afterthought in the overall supply chain spin. While logistics may be relatively small part of the overall supply chain spin, it's a substantial opportunity to reduce costs without negatively impacting patient care. Speaking of changing mindsets, a key audience is our clinicians. We're demonstrating to them that they can trust that the supply chain will have the right products in the right place at the right time. Change can be hard, so we need to ensure the clinicians that the supplies they need will be there. We're just making sure that the process is more efficient, it's less costly, and will ultimately benefit the quality of patient care. By making the cost of logistics more constant, and consistent and predictable. We can also help establish a consistent cost per procedure across the entire healthcare system. This further supports quality patient care by supporting the health of our overall system itself. In short, I'm excited and extremely optimistic about the future of logistics at Common Spirit Health. Thanks, Dr. Waller. You do have a lot going on and I can see why the future is bright. We're excited about the future here at OptiFreight as well. And in fact, we're investing in a business transformation that's focused on building automated, technology-driven solutions that innovate the way healthcare supply chain leaders manage freight spend and take total control over their healthcare logistics. With our new suite of solutions in hand, our team of experts can give healthcare providers what they want most, more control. This year, we're rolling out new features and upgrades, including technology advances to our freight pay and audit system, customer analytic offerings, and supplier engagement and management. As part of this transformation, we'll deliver advanced capabilities in data analytics and seamless technology integrations. These efforts will improve supplier engagement and help health systems identify and gain greater control over unmanaged freight which will significantly lower costs. Also, we'll offer more flexibility in shipping and carrier options that will allow healthcare logistics to be managed more effectively. As a result, we'll increase visibility, improve performance, and drive greater control of our customers' total healthcare logistics needs. Dr. Waller, does that seem like functionality that would be useful for you and your team? It does. With that kind of visibility and control, I think we can continue to be successful. It's certainly an exciting time in healthcare logistics. Dr. Waller, I just want to thank you for joining us today, sharing more about your journey and success. Do you have any closing thoughts you'd like to share? Thanks, Emily. It's been a pleasure to be here as well. I agree, this is an exciting time for Common Spirit, and I can't wait to see how we can continue to collaborate together to advance total healthcare logistics. Wonderful. Well, allow me to wrap things up today. We've discussed four key topics to help health systems like Common Spirit rethink, redesign, and reimagine their approach to logistics. First, we discussed the value of tailored solutions and why customizing these offers based on the individual healthcare provider's needs is a must. Next, we talked about committed experts as an extension of your team, bringing insights, expertise, perspective. It is a game changer. We then talked about innovation and insights that allows increased savings, benchmarking performance against peers, 
and always finding new opportunities to improve. In the end, we looked into the future of healthcare logistics. Dr. Waller talked about the strategic role within Common, Common Spirit Health to support quality patient care. And I talked about OptiFreight and how we're undergoing a business transformation to, more, to even more effectively and successfully support our healthcare provider customers everywhere. Let's go ahead and open it up for questions to the audience. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Emily and Dr. Waller, for that insightful presentation. And we will go ahead and jump into some audience questions uh, to our audience members. If you do have questions today for Dr. Waller and Emily, please submit them into the Q&A feature that you see on your webinar console. And if we don't get to your questions during the live presentation today, we will be following up via email. Dr. Waller, I'm going to address this first question to you. You did mention that you were using OptiFreight solution in a core lab. Can you talk a little bit more about how you've expanded the OptiFreight program into different departments in your health system? Absolutely. As I mentioned earlier, OptiFreight helped us with the need to expedite shipments of COVID tests to our core lab. We needed a unique solution with specific tracking functionality so that we could protect test integrity. The OptiFreight team jumped right in to help us develop a solution and streamlined our process with a very accelerated timeline due to the pandemic. They leveraged their close relationship with the carrier to make sure the tests were delivered on time and still effectively managed costs. That's not something I could have done or my team could have done on our own. In addition, the OptiFreight solution is used in our outpatient pharmacies. The OptiFreight team helped us optimize the flow of packages and ship them at the best value, while making sure critical medications are delivered to patients' homes when they're needed, then even intervene on behalf of any solutions when packages were lost or delayed. Emily, the next question I have is for you. An audience member is curious to know, how has your innovation process changed with your business transformation? Mm -hmm. And how do you know that you're bringing the right solutions to the market? I, I love that question because when you think about process, that alone can change the game. And when we at OptiFreight are thinking about what are the, the pain points or challenges that our customers are facing, which ones really matter and how do we get products quickly to address those issues? It is about co-creation. So we think about creating products side by side with customers through an agile methodology. It is an iterative approach. Uh, we will find feedback and get feedback from customers along the way, which helps us both make sure we are on target to address the need that is burning for them. And frankly, it also helps us know where we're off course, be able to course correct quickly and bring the right product to bear. So there are a number of, of examples, even with Dr. Waller's organization where it's through that iterative process where we're constantly pushing for improvement and the, the ability to bring more insights, more savings can come in a lot of different ways. It's with the collaboration of our customers that help us know what matters most and to get after it. Terrific. Thanks so much for that really helpful response there, Emily. And, you know, we've got time for just one more question. So Dr. Waller, Emily, I'd love if you could both weigh in on this one, as it is based on an important topic uh, that we're all discussing in our industry today. So really staffing shortages are still a challenge in healthcare and supply chain teams have been impacted. Um, this audience member is curious to know, you know, how automated technology can do a lot of that work for us. I'll take that first one. So supply chains within healthcare facilities are definitely strapped for resources. I know with competing priorities and the supply chain disruptions taking time and focus away from optimizing a logistic strategy. The supply chain is one area that needs to be looked at critically to uncover savings and efficiencies. When my, when my team needs to focus on other priorities, we know we can depend on OptiFreight Logistics team to mine the data for us, help us find opportunities for improvement. But then they take it a step further and they also help us drive the necessary actions to make real and lasting impacts. Emily, what are your thoughts in that area? Uh, you, you covered it really well. I, I think 
what makes Opti Freight unique and what we're really proud of our collaborations with teams like yours. We really are an extension of your team. And the way that we both identify savings and as you said, take actions to make it a reality is something that our team gets energized by, wakes up every day thinking about. And while technology and platforms are foundational to make that happen, it's that combination with that committed team that's gonna push and find improvements all along the way. Um, so it's really the, the true definition, you heard me talk about a total logistics advocate, and that's what we strive to do here at OptiFreight. Wonderful, well, that is all the time that we do have today. Emily, I know that you have just a few quick closing statements, uh, if you can uh, jump right in there. Great, well, I just wanna thank Dr. Waller again uh, for the engagement, the thoughts that you shared, um, the expertise that you have and success that you've shown, really excited to hear more about it as you took us through it today. Um, I also want to give uh, time and attention to a, a brief survey that all of you who have attended the meeting will be given. Um, I want to thank you for your attention today, the fact that you joined us. We want to hear from you. Your feedback is helpful. It helps us continue to improve, which you've heard us talk a lot about today. We really are focused on the value that we can provide that's both insightful for how you're running your businesses and ways that we may be able to help. So thanks for taking the time to complete the survey and enjoy the rest of your day.